You know, you have to believe in yourself. You have to have self-confidence. And even if everybody else says it's impossible, you can do it. You know, being a kid just like all of you, it is easy to get shot down and it is easy to get undermined for your age. There were many points over this journey where people told me that I was too young, that things were too complicated, they were too expensive. But I want you to know that age is not a limiting factor. You're never going to be the most knowledgeable person in the room at this age, but you'd be surprised at how quickly you run up against the limits of human knowledge and how different you see the world from people that have been established in a certain field and the impact that that can have. You can either be passive and hope that things turn out well, or you can engage. You are thinking about a career that really is in service to humanity and that in itself can bring such career satisfaction because you're always inspired by what you can do for others. As we consider how to weigh doing for ourselves versus doing for the greater good, it's very important to, to bear in mind that you have to do both. You have to help yourself, but you also have to help others. And I think you'll find more and more helping others helps yourself more than the other way around. Why does the practice of medicine even really exist? Well, it exists so we can diagnose, prevent, and treat disease. It exists so we can extend life. And it exists so we can preserve quality of life for our patients. So it really is critical to be able to restore the humanity of human face. And the only way to restore it, really, rather than reconstruct, is by transplantation. If there's ever a time to have a spinal cord injury, now is the time. Because there's great advancement in technology and I'm working with the best, best of doctors at the Mayo Clinic. This is a 55-year-old uh, male who had a history of a mitral valve replacement. And uh, this is us uh, putting in a total artificial heart. And here you see the total artificial heart implanted. Really, my take-home points for you all are the best careers are those that center around the heart and also to have your career be heart-centered. We all have a story to tell and the story is in our heart. And the important thing is to be consistent to who you are and to stick to that. Take a moment uh, in, this, in this time to hold dear to you the reason why you are doing this. Make sure you hold on to your dreams and your focus. Don't be a follower in this moment, be a leader. When you show the calmness, everyone else stays calm. The more efficient you are with making decisions, the quicker the surgery goes and the better it is for the patient. As the surgeon, you have to understand you're the captain. What do you do when no one is watching? Would you still do the right thing? That is integrity. Never compromise your integrity. A mistake is only a mistake if you do it twice. Don't beat yourself about making mistakes. That's how you grow. Failure is actually a good thing. And, the, and you learn from it. Let it be something that, that allows you to push forward with even more momentum. One of the best lessons you will have will be from your failures, right? Because you knew the steps that got you there, and you'll learn the steps to overcome it. Bottom line, guys, you all here today can be a part of someone's life being saved or two. Hi. The hardest part for most people is not gonna be the actual work you need to do. It's gonna be being able to see yourself move through it. And I hope you will feel in a much better place and you know that if Huda could do it, I can do it as well and better.